Hi guys, here we go again. We have a new guest and he's another cousin of mine. His mother and my mother are twin sisters. He speaks to himself whenever he's bored or whenever he's playing a game. Without further ado, I will introduce my cousin, Kent. Hello. Hi, Kent. How are you? Very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Introduce yourself. Um, my name is Kent and my mostly hobby is by probably playing my phone or watching TikTok or any video because I get entertained by watching videos. Okay, so how old are you? I am 13 years old. You're 13, so you're a teenager? I don't like calling myself a teenager because I mostly don't like feeling like to be a teenager because I mostly like want to feel like a kid still. So you feel like a kid, but you're turning into a teenager. Your voice actually changing bit by bit. But I can do change my voice like, Hi, my name's Ken. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so Ken, how did you learn English? How did I learn English? Um, Very great question because I actually learned English from watching cartoons. A lot of cartoons. Most of the cartoons I've watched is mostly English. I've not seen a Filipino cartoon. Mm -hmm. So what, what cartoons did you watch? As a kid, I watched Steven Universe and one of my favorites is Pokemon. Mm. So you also watch YouTube videos like Adriel? Yes, I actually watch more videos than Adriel because Adriel, as I know it, he mostly plays games like Call of Duty. Mm -hmm. And I watch videos that I get entertained, like games like Gmod. And the YouTubers playing that is like Spy Cakes. When did you actually learn English? What age? Probably six years old mm. so that was seven years ago so ever since you learned english how did you even absorb english how did you speak it i just like copying things when i was a, when i was like six years old and my favorite things about copying things is probably like watching naruto and try to do a move like a ninjutsu from naruto and i like to try to copy their sayings mm. and their words uh, so you're just imitating them and that's how i learned imitating english right yeah that's how mm. i learned english by imitating their lines and understanding on how to say it better so it's actually an english learning tip where you imitate the lines of the people who are talking in the uh, show or movie or cartoons and you get to imitate how they have expressed themselves in English. And as you can see the result, Kent was able to speak like this just by imitating what he watched. Right, Kent? <laughs> yes, and also as... I imitated, I started to realize that me speaking Filipino is now a bit harder for me mm -hmm. since I started speaking English more than Filipino. So it started getting hard on me on speaking my native language. language. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so that's the disadvantage. But there's also an advantage because at an early age, you are already speaking in English. And when you grow up, it would be easier for you to learn the language and to improve on it. Yes, I actually agree with that since speaking English is now a bit easier for me. If I did not even copy or imitate, as you guys call it, I would have never been able to speak English like this. Okay, good. Do you speak English with your friends? 
Uh, yes, particularly most of the times. But sometimes if the words I don't know or just gets really annoyed with the words I'm saying, I just start speaking a bit of Filipino. So, do you speak English at home? I don't particularly speak English a lot at home. I sometimes actually speak a lot of Filipino at home when I sometimes get bored. But in most occasions, I do speak English to just make myself a bit entertaining by myself. So, you just speak English to yourself I most speak, of the time? Yeah, I speak English all by myself because that's how I find myself entertaining to myself. Like, literally, I'm talking to someone. Actually, it's a good practice of uh, speaking English, you know, speaking to yourself. You're speaking your mind, and nobody judges you. Nobody will correct you or anything. But I think that's the disadvantage because no one is correcting your English about, like, your the technical things about English, like grammar. But you can practice your pronunciation. Those just... were the questions. I actually didn't think they were questions. I was just going with the flow in my head. Yeah, actually, I don't have any topic in mind or I didn't prepare for this. It was like... A surprise. Impromptu. <laughs> A surprise video that... Yes, because... About. Yeah, I never thought of anything doing it at the moment. And it's actually very nice being in the video. When Adria first made a video, I didn't want to be in the video since I was shy at first. I didn't want to like show my face. And you know that I'm also a shy person. Uh, yes, <laughs> because you told me. And here's the thing. If you want to know I am shy, I literally have never made a story in Messenger. What story? Like those stories. Ah, okay. okay. I, I have never I actually them. can't wait to be talking with Adriel and Kent at the same time. But it might come tomorrow since they might come here. Yes, there's a possibility that we might meet also Adriel and if he's in the mood to do and Adriel's also in the mood to do another video, then we'll have another episode with the two of them. Speaking, speaking again randomly <laughs> or maybe with a topic this but time if we probably talk to each other we'll probably be messing around and laughing a lot but if i do get bored i'll probably just go serious and not even talk to him i wonder if i could relate to them because of course of the age gap and i'm not sure what topic we might be talking about but yeah let's try that next time yeah, we should since Adro's not here. Since Adro's not here, it's less enjoyable for me since I have no one to talk to that literally entertains me with his voice. But you miss Adria. I don't miss Adria. I just miss the voice of Adria. Hmm. <laughs> well, Adriel and him are very close. They're not, like uh, not that close. Well, they are. That not. I <laughs> they mean. are. So we'll wrap this up and we'll be talking again in another time, maybe with Adriel. So uh, what can you say? Please hit the like button and subscribe button and also make sure to hit the bell button to make sure you never miss another video. Oh, thank you, Kent. So whatever he said, peace. peace.